Today is a special day in FIFA Ultimate Team because Flashback Neymar has arrived in FIFA 22. We've got the Brazil shirt ready. Let's see how good Neymar will be, but back in the past with a flashback version. Well, here we go. It's just hit 6 p.m. Can we now add Neymar to my team in FIFA? It has been rumored that he will be added to the game today. So, is he here? I've not been more hyped, I don't think, guys. Maybe other than Varane, this FIFA for a new player. I can't wait for this. This was a bit like the flashback Ronaldo days, right? When we got that in FIFA 21. Oh my God, two panels. Wow, what a card. What a card from the stats. Two panels as well? Right, that is a beautiful card. The big question is, guys, what are the requirements? Are they like 85 and 87 or something? That is, I'm not gonna lie, that is really good requirements for Neymar. Maybe they've got that wrong. Right, I'm going to complete these SPCs, guys, and get into it. That's done there, guys. We have used all black there, but I'm happy to get this Neymar card done. I feel like this is actually too cheap from EA. It's amazing. I'm not complaining at all. In fact, I'm loving it. But I can't believe it's this cheap. Like, he's now going to be maybe more popular than any other flashback item we've seen before. Ronaldo, I'm sure flashback Ronaldo is like at least four or five squads. So that is surprising. Right, guys, we've got him completed. Here we go then. Flashback Neymar with his official player stats as well. I feel like this could be a monstrous card in FIFA. We're going to obviously show you guys how good he is, his strengths, his weaknesses, see what his links are, which are going to be brilliant. There's also so many flashback links to this card. There he is. Flashback Neymar is here, guys. We've got the Brazil shirt repping it today for this special day. Look at those stats. I can't believe these stats. I am just going to throw it out there. That card looks unreal. You've got to look at the agility at 98, ball control 94, stamina's good at 90. You might want to give him a Hawk chemistry style to get the physical up there and the shooting. For me, you've got to get the finishing increase and probably physical. So I would advise potentially using um, the probably Hawk chemistry style for me, guys. His pace is already amazing, but you've got to get those physical attributes improved there with 50 strength. But either way, I feel like it's striker or CF or left wing, right wing, a cam. There's so many positions we can use him. So we're going to add him right now, guys, to my main ultimate team, which is a bit of a mad, you know, God squad team. But there he is. Now, in terms of comparing his, I guess, what we do now, if we compare Neymar's card here, guys, to um, his other versions in the game. So let's have a look here. Concepts on. And there you go. So you've got the flashback version there against his gold card. A lot of people are saying, well, Matt, why don't you just buy his gold card? But looking at this, guys, it looks likely that he might be half the price with the, maybe even more than half the price of his gold version to the flashback. And that's a really good thing that I'm hoping this SPC will achieve. So again, there are the physicals, guys, against his flashback. He weirdly has more stamina on his flashback than his current gold card, which I'm a bit surprised at. Um, he actually has the exact same finishing as his 92 rated in form. Wow. As his flashback version. That's crazy. He's got better finishing on his flashback than it. Wow, we're finding everything out here, guys. He is faster and he might have a better card with his flashback. I think he does, except for passing, which is a big uh, downgrade there. But the shooting and pace is increased. This is an unbelievable SPC, guys. Right, we're going to add him, though, to the team. And then we might play him. I think we'll play him as a maybe left wing to start. And then see what happens, right? We want to get this uh, card spot on it. Anyway, let's get him in the team, guys, as I left mid. I probably will play him as a striker alongside potentially Mbappe or R9, maybe alongside R9 Ronaldo. But there he is, guys. Flashback Neymar is in my team. Again, we are going to go for the Hawk chemistry style. I've absolutely got to improve those physicals. And there we have it. He is ready to go. 
And then I think in game, we'll probably try him as a striker and potentially have Mbappe play as a left mid. Just I really want to get him in front of the goal, see how he'll be. But comment down below, are you completing flashback Neymar? Let me know, question of the day. Second question, which position would you guys play him in, in game? Do let me know. I'm going to give him a go as CF or striker. See how he does. Right, first game of the day. He's got Neymar, but he's got the wrong version of Neymar, mate. What are you doing? you got to go back on squad building challenges, bro. Oh, first shot with Neymar. <laughs> first goal and shot with flashback Neymar, guys. Now, he's not got his flashback, I guess, hairstyle, which would have been amazing to see. But lovely touch and control there by Neymar with his 94 ball control. Not to be, uh, you know, forgotten about that one. Right, how is his How is his um, R1 dribbling? That's what I really want to see, guys. R1 dribbling for me right now is really useful, especially when it's a bit of, like, delayed gameplay, like it's been all day for me. So how is... In fact, how is he on the end of this one? No way. Oh, if he made that pass. I think he's in. Oh, wow. He is rapid. Guys, he's noticeable. He's kept that in as well. No way. He's kept that in. He's noticeably faster than his gold rated card. Like, I know he's literally got the stats which prove it, but you can literally notice it in game. I've used uh, the regular gold Neymar a lot, guys, and he is, uh, he is fast, right? Really fast. But this card is everywhere. My God. Is he on side? Good goal, man. Honestly, we're really well played, bro. Well played. You can't use this Neymar, guys, without doing some skill moves. I mean, I love doing skill moves in FIFA, but especially the rainbow flick. That is the best rainbow flick you've ever seen, right? Oh, what a header. Is that Ruben Diaz? Oh, he's done him. Speed boost. Go on. Oh, speed boost wasn't spot on, but again, the pace of Neymar, guys, is there as plain as day. Like, he really is noticeably quicker and more agile than his uh, regular card. I'm now thinking, you know, with this flashback version, will this card really make his goal card? Oh, this is too fun, man. Go on. Oh, we should have got a goal there. Go top right. We nearly got an assist for Neymar guys already. Will this make his gold, ver gold rated card a bit, not useless, but you know what I mean? Like, this could be a nice goal. Hold on. Bang. He is clinical. That's one thing I'm going to say. His finishing is noticeably improved there as well. But yeah, with his flashback version coming out, guys, do you reckon his uh, gold card is now going to shoot down in price? Because for me, so far, this card has been more exciting than, if, than any game I've had with the gold uh, Neymar. I have said it all year, and I've, I've honestly had so many crazy comments on stream about this, guys. But I've always said David Neres' 88 version for me, has been better. This is a really crazy card, guys, honestly. Has been better than the gold-rated card of Neymar. Now I'm thinking this flashback already is much better than even David Neres, and I love his card, but this is going to be a fun video, guys. Um, so leave a like, by the way, if you're enjoying it. Let's go. I need to learn how to score there. Honestly, I've got to go top left, man. What am I doing? Whoa, right, speed boost. Go on, Neymar. Flashback to Santos. Oh, he's amazing. He's had like four shots and scored three goals, guys, with flashback 87 rated Neymar. He's insane. What is this card? He's in. He's in. Go on. Ball roll. Rabona. Oh, it wasn't a Rona, guys, but yet again, another goal. And he's gone. First game with flashback Neymar, guys, and he's gone. This card is absolutely absurd. I'm going to quickly check at the same time to see what price he is to complete. It's a massively important question. So right now, guys, he is 247k. So if you do go and compare that, to his gold rated card it is actually now more ex wow his flashback item has um now become guys more expensive 
than his gold card. His gold card is 194, which goes to show you that is a very interesting fact on FIFA. I thought maybe his gold card was still a bit more pricey. Maybe his gold card is shot down. Wavy Wanderers! You know what? You never see human sun much in FIFA these days, guys. That could be a ball. Go on! His pace is amazing, chat, honestly. How's his passing? Well, his passing is pretty good, guys, as well. Okay, take that. Back to Neymar. Let's go. Done him. Ball roll. Yeah, his ball rolls are as, you know, lovely as you'd expect. I thought I never thought I'd be describing a ball roll on a player review. But here we are, guys. That's lovely. Go on. Oh, I've got to score that. I've got to go top right. Again. Wow. Last two shots, guys, haven't gone in. But I think one of them definitely was my fault. The other one, I think, could just do better there with Neymar. But still. It's a really good ball. Take your time. Bang. There we go. Finally, again, he doesn't miss, guys, and for champs there. Lovely, lovely goal that. I love the fact that it looked a bit like a low-driven, and it wasn't a low-driven, but we take it. Well played. Oh! No way. Oh, that would have been incredible. You need to complete this card, guys. It's not often I'd say that, you know, other than flashback Varane and flashback Icardi, I guess, but especially this Neymar card. He's unreal. You've got to complete this card. If that means taking a week to grind the game in terms of like getting these, uh, you know, the high rated fodder, he is worth it. Seriously worth it. That's a really lovely pass. I think he's in. That is insane. No way. Over him. Oh! This card is actually broken. I feel like they've made him too good. I honestly fear for every weekend league right now, guys, because it's going to be brutal with this card. How's R1 dribbling? Oh my god. Right, R1 dribbling, guys. Let's have a look. Jesus. Right, I'm going to give Neymar the free kick here, guys. I don't know his stats, so 82. Not the best free kick, so I wouldn't probably advise him on free kicks, but I will attempt, like... Oh, that could be lovely. A knuckleball? Ah, I need to come on right. His free kicks are not, you know, great. They're okay. Very usable free kicks, but I wouldn't advise him. I'd probably say Messi or even um, if you have him back. No, probably not Mbappe. George Jr. would have been great there, actually. And just like that, he is gone. He's out of there, guys. Finesse goal of dreams from Neymar. This card, and everyone on in the FIFA community saying the same thing here, guys, as I was earlier. This card is actually better than his gold version. My God, that is insane. I've got to see that finesse goal again, though. Because that was just beautiful. If you didn't know, there is like actually a bit of a glitch where you can rewind the full game in FIFA when you just watch out the uh, watch out the highlights or the replays. It'll make sense very shortly. But Neymar there, guys, was outstanding. He makes slow gameplay fun. That's when you know you've got an absolutely cracking broken card. Here you go. So I think we pressed the instant replay. There you go. Is this the one? It is. There you go. So guys, we just scored this lovely goal here from Neymar. And I didn't expect this to go to go in. Lovely ball roll. Bang. That finesse goal is brilliant. That's a truly brilliant finesse goal. That I'm getting emotional. That card is... This card is broken. I cannot wait to get this card completed on my road to glory. If you guys have completed this card or you're planning to, how many coins are you going to spend on him? Are you going to wait for upgrade packs to release so you can craft him? Because I think this might be one of the most fun cards I've used in years. This card is insane. We used him and tested his card in Division Rivals. We used him in Foot Champions as well. And to be honest, I'm intrigued to see over time which position I'm going to love using him at. Now, 
The really exciting aspect, guys, of using a card like Neymar with his flashback card is obviously the links he has. So if you've got any Brazilian icons, that'd be obviously wonderful. If you haven't, though, and let's say you've got flashback Icardi, that's amazing. A lot of people have got flashback Icardi. I have got him in my club. I've used him in like 200 games on my Road to Glory account. So he is going to be a brilliant player to link. Now, a lot of pro players recommend this kind of style, guys, if you do have two strikers. It's always brilliant to have like at least one five-star skiller, if not five-star weak foot player, but more so skill moves for me. And then have maybe like a four-star, four-star as well. Having that balance compared to having two players with, say, four-star, four-star is a massive upgrade. So the fact that Neymar's now got better shooting, six goals in two games, my God, and also has so many great links. If you've got David Ginola and you've been using him at striker, I think now you're going to have, you know, your work cut out in terms of which play do you play there. I would probably recommend Neymar. I think for me, at striker, this card is going to be unbelievable. Look at the stats. I really, really think at striker, with maybe a more stronger partner at, at the striker position, maybe like an icon or um, Icardi is a great shout as well. And the links that he possesses are just magnificent. So far, guys, I'm absolutely going to give this card a 10 out of 10. Now, at the time of making this video, the current price of the SBC is as follows. So, flashback Neymar, guys, is currently 242,000 coins. As you guys can see right here, right now, this is the stats there. Sorry, the price at 243k. Now, if you can get this card completed for half the price, then that is amazing because he's going to be worth your time grinding. If you're the kind of player, though, who's been struggling to find that alternative striker to maybe like a clunkier striker, I really think this might be the card. You've just got to get used to his dribbling and his brilliant skill moves. I mean, it might not take long with this card with the skills he's got, but look at the flair trait there, speed dribbler, technical dribbler as well. Outside the foot shot, you guys just saw his finesse ability as well. First finesse shot from like 24 yards out and we bang it top right. If you are not completing this card, guys, I am surprised because I think this card might go down as one of the most, maybe most fun flashback items we've seen in years. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this flashback Neymar player review. Leave a like for more of this kind of content and gameplay on the channel. Have a very special day and I'll see you guys later. Take care guys and enjoy flashback Neymar.